Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Ara. In today's video, we'll learn how to copy option chain data of multiple stocks onto its respective worksheets. The Excel sheet in front of you is a similar sheet that we had made in our previous video. You could see the worksheet options, Nifty and copy your sheets. So what uh, we actually did in this uh, sheet was uh, we had pulled Nifty's option chain data and then uh, for specific uh, strike price we had copied their option chain value onto this copy here sheet. So I'll simply demonstrate that. So here when I click on copy specific data you could see that uh, ATM 11,900 data is copied onto copy here sheets. So this is what it is, 11,900 ATM. I've considered 11,900 to be the ATM. Also, we had automated the process. So every five seconds, the entire data keeps on copying itself. So here you could see every five seconds, it is being automated. Now what we want to do is, first I'll stop this process. So I go to Visual Basic click on pause cannot execute in break mode so ok and then reset it minimize the screen I'll simply delete this part because we won't be needing it now what we are going to do here is we'll be pulling option chain data of multiple stocks so like nifty you will have other stocks as well say reliance infosys Wipro, and respectively we will have similar sheet uh, with a suffix c to it so that all the data of that respective index or stock is copied onto the respective uh, stock or index sheet so what I'm going to do here is first uh, I'll delete this uh, copy a sheet because we won't be needing that. So delete. Now what I'm going to do in this program is I have already pulled Nifty's uh, option chain data. So I'll make a program or do the coding in such a way that every time I run the macro, I'll get this sheet as well. So every time nifty is uh, nifty's uh, option chain data is pulled so there will be an additional sheet that will be created by the macro so if you have reliance so you'll be having reliance option chain data sheet and then a respective sheet wherein reliance uh, particular side price option chain values will be copied to that sheet so reliance c so i'll put a suffix c to every other additional sheet created along with the index or the stock scripts so first I'll go to the NAC India website and get the URL so nacindia.com so I'll go to live market equity derivatives and click on option chain so let's say if I take bank nifty so this is a URL for Bank Nifty. I'll consider the expiry of 28th November. I'll simply copy this URL, go to my Excel sheet, and with the prefix URL, I'll simply paste it up. So this Bank Nifty for 28th November expiry, I'll name the worksheet as Bank Nifty. So what will happen is if once I pull this options data, so there will be a sheet created for Nifty and Nifty C and for Bank Nifty it will be Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty C this way. So for the time being I am going to delete this part. Now we go to the developer tab visual basic. Now I will be putting a few line of coding here to make that process work so first thing is because we are having two scripts nifty and bank nifty so i'll be changing this number to two now here after str i'll be adding one more coding so it should be worksheets 
dot add after equal to worksheets worksheets dot count dot name equal to str ampers and and within semicolon c so this is the coding for that uh, additional worksheet and then i'll make sure that worksheet str is selected selected and also make and also make the sheet to be active so activate so here our coding for the first part is complete so what we'll do is we'll try to check whether it is working or not so i'll simply go to my options worksheet and i'll simply click on it no full options data there seems to be a problem with the nac india website it is actually taking a lot of time so now here you could see uh, what we had intended we wanted a nifty option chain data sheet and an additional sheet wherein we want to copy some specific data from this option chain data of nifty same is a case with the bank nifty so here also we have the same thing so now what i'll do is uh, first i'll make some formatting to these sheets so first thing is i'll copy this part so i should know what I'm trying to have on this sheet. So control V here and say I don't want a ch uh, chart column. So not even with R squared from both sides call and put delete. Okay, and this also delete. Now I'll be only copying this much data of the respective scripts. So simple. Okay. Same is the case with bank data is what I want. Here, control V. So this is done. Now, first part of our uh, macro programming is done. Now we need to work on the copying part and the automation part. So again, go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. Now here, <coughs> you can see the copy macro has uh, the coding for Nifty's uh, option chain data and the copying of this of its. Uh, ATM call onto the copy here worksheet that we had created earlier. Uh, we'll be uh, doing some changes to this. So first thing is uh, we simply change the name of copy here sheet to respective sheets name. So Nifty C is our newly created sheet where we need to copy the values. So everywhere you have copy here simply simply rename that to Nifty C. Okay. and we won't be needing this so we'll simply delete this and for the time being we'll stop the timer we'll put a comment sign here okay now uh, i'm considering the atm call to be copied to and the atm call that i've considered is 11900 now we'll go to the worksheet i will see where the ATM call is so 11,913. So even now I'll consider 11,900 to be the ATM. So I'll simply want to copy these values onto this sheet. So how uh, it is going to work is uh, simple. Uh, these all values will be copied like this. FTC. Yeah, this way but with a timestamp as well so we want such thing to happen or uh, we want the macro to work in this manner so now nifty is at b65 i've already put that coding onto my visual basic macro coding so it is b65 to g65 l65 q65 to v65 and nifty c now let's see whether it works or not
so again I'll simply go to my op options sheet and click on copy specific data so here you could see with the timestamp the values are copied now we also want it for bank nifty now please uh, friends understand this that um, the natural formatting of every script are different now when we say nifty it starts with row 11 and ends on row 97 now for bank nifty it starts with row 11 but ends at row 82 so the natural formatting for every script is different for every script we'll have to define a separate set of coding so you'll have to at the uh, initial stage you'll have to bear with the coding part but once you are done with the coding you will only need to simply change the row number every time the ATM or the specific value shifts so what we'll do is uh, here also we'll be taking the ATM calls the bank Nifty was trading at 31,115 so I'll consider 31,100 to be the ATM so it is at V70 I'll simply go to the coding page and I'll copy this much part control C and press enter here and again control V now because we are considering nif bank nifty so I'll change this to bank nifty again bank nifty now wherever it, uh, the name is nifty c you simply change it to bank nifty c okay bank nifty c make sure that you type in correct because any typing error would result in an error bank nifty again and here bank nifty c okay now because we have already defined an integer here last row we need to have a separate name for bank nifty as well so we cannot have two integer bearing the same name so i'll change it to last row one and i'll simply change this value to one okay now our coding for both the stocks is done so we'll simply check it again and uh, I need to also change this value to B70 so I'll simply change it to B70 because our ATM is at row number 70 but done so I'll check it again so we go to options and click on copy specific data so here you could see the data is copied the third time and for bank empty it is also working fine so if we were to cross verify it the net change for 31100 is 159.05 so it is 159.05 which is the net change so our macro for the copying part is also working fine now comes the automation part again we go to the programming now here we only need to get rid of this comment part and our automation part is also complete now let's see whether the macro is working properly or not so simply go to the option sheet and click on copy specific data so here you could see 49 after every 5 seconds it should work fine so 54 again 59 for bank nifty 49 54 and 59 so our program is working fine we will simply go to the visual basic click on pause we click on ok and reset so our programming for multiple stock is complete so if at all you want to also add any more stocks you simply go here add the url and do the necessary changes that was done for bank nifty so this uh, concludes our programming hope you might have liked this video if you have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe but if you have any queries kindly write to me at industrialara at gmail.com thank you